All right, so I got a little carried away with the coilovers. Uh, did the fronts without taking videos. Uh, still not complete. The rears are sitting a little bit lower than I'd like them to be. So I'm gonna raise those up and then I've gotta do uh, three end links. Uh, I think three of the stock end links uh, rounded out when trying to pull them off. So I got upgraded end links from 949 and gonna go ahead and put the, I put one on already, gonna put the rest of them on raise the rears and actually uh, drive this thing. All right, so since I didn't actually take a video of doing the front, I'll just kind of point out what uh, what's done in here. I'm sure there's plenty of videos online to actually see how to do it. Um, disconnected the end link. Undid the bottom bolt here. Uh, you gotta loosen these bolts on the bracket for the sway bar and then take out this upper control arm bolt. You gotta loosen these bolts just to give this clearance to go through here. Um, pulling the, the back side of the control arm out allows you to get enough room to push down uh, the whole assembly here to get the, uh, the strut in and out. And then obviously there's two bolts up in the up in the bay to get the, the top of the strut out. So it's pretty simple. Front, or the, the new ones were a lot easier to go in. So I've gotta do this end link here on the front, both rear end links. The other side I've already done, and then uh, raise the, the rear by about a half inch, and then take it for a drive. Okay, so trying to raise up the rears, so I took out the, the bottom bolt here, and then just spun down the, the bottom sleeve half an inch. I'm going to tighten the, uh, the locking collar now, put the bolt back in, and it should be good on this side. I'll still do this end link, do the same things the other side, do the end link up front. Yep. Okay. Got the end links in there. Uh, got them in on all, all four corners. Had to cut off the old ones with a little grinding wheel. Hate factory stuff. <laughs> but, but it's good now. <laughs>